Hi, I'm Bill Hurst, Highland Hill Farm here in Fountainville, PA. I have become an internet beggar. I found that if I beg on the internet, people really will send me some things that I need. I could use some shoes, some work boots. I can fit in anything from size 11 to 13 and a half. So if you have any work boots out there that you're not using that are in decent condition, please send them to me at 5275 West Swamp Road, Fountainville, PA, 18923. Now you may think that this is a joke. This is no joke. I also can use clothing, extra large size clothing. I'm a big guy. I have, I'm, I'm a big heavy guy, so I can use some big heavy clothing. Please don't throw the clothing out. This is a great way for you to recycle and to help me save some money so that I can pay my taxes for Obama. And, you know, I'm in one of those situations where Obama wants to, you know, tax me to death. So before I die, I would like to get some free stuff. And, you know, the Internet begging is going to be the, the wave of the future. And I want to be right in there and in the forefront of this new growth industry. Thank you. This is Don Hurst at Highland Hole Farm. He's the oldest craftsman in Bucks County and he makes all kinds of little things that uh, we give away at the farm. It keeps my father busy. He has a job to do and here's his job. He makes targets. Like and this that. is from scrap too. Yep. And uh, what he does is he, he we go down shopping every day at dumpsters and we find pieces of cardboard that can be recycled and he cuts it up and then he makes targets out of it and he gives these targets out. He also recycles old spools and this is an old spool that he's recycled. I've cut the, flan the flanges off and I've reserved the, the plastic uh, tube and the uh, cardboard. And turn it so center. they can see the hole pop and that's the hole for a bird box mm -hmm. so he makes these into small bird boxes and you could uh, put these under the overhang of a building or under a barn roof and the birds can find it and make a little nest there so he gives these things away that he makes and he's asking you that if you have any craft supplies that you want to get rid of he'd be glad to take them because he puts them into his craft supply area and he uses this to make some of his little gadgets so he can use you know if you have little buckets of paint that's left over, paint brushes, scrapers, little tools, uh, maybe some glue, uh, caulking that you don't want. Uh, my father would be glad to take it and while you're here go home with some targets or a free bird box. So give us a call if you can at 215-651-8329. This is Highland Hill Farm. And uh, Don would be glad to get you a bird box or a couple of bird boxes and some targets. Thank you. These are our blood good Japanese maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes and we also have weeping Japanese red maples and also green maples. So give us a call 215-651-8329. I'm Bill Hurst and this is Marge, my wife. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These are a 9 to 10 foot green giant. The green giant is a very fast growing tree. It can grow upwards to 3 feet a year. And as you can see, it's measuring to nine foot to the end of the main body of the tree. And the little tail that goes up, we don't really count. These trees can be planted from six to eight feet apart in straight rows or staggered rows. We do deliver and plant them up and down the east coast. And they're great for windbreaks, screens, and buffers. If you have a heavy population of deer, the tree will be damaged slightly. Uh, what you might have to do if you have a lot of deer, you may have to spray it with some deer away. But generally speaking, if you have a, you know, a, a minor deer population, like a deer every week or every other week walking through your yard, this tree will not be bothered. If you have a minor deer population, even the emerald greens can be eaten alive. 
So we recommend the Green Giants for a lot of windbreaks and screens and buffers for their deer resistance, their bug resistance. And another good feature of this tree is that it grows predominantly with one single leader, as you see here. Now this leader can almost be bent back to the ground. It's a very tough plant and it, you know it, it takes a lot of, lot of abuse and it can withstand a lot of wind and snow damage. It's forgiving on the soil types and it can take a little bit of shade. The reason it can take some shade is as you can see it's a little bit open. A very close dense tree like the emerald green can take no shade but the green giant is more open so it can live in a in a shaded environment. So give us a call. These are our 9 to 10 foot green giants at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are five to six and four to fives green giant arborvitae. We've got plenty of them here. Just give us a call, 215-651-8329.